Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica and a bonus Mr. Episode this week because on Wednesday, SRG320 updated some of the code for the Sega Saturn Core on Mr. So this is going to be preview number two. It's still a work in progress. It is not going to match real hardware yet, but that is not the point of this video whatsoever. It's to get you hyped, to show you what's new, and to get you testing alongside with us. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. And I'll also leave SRG320's Patreon link down below there, because he does live in Ukraine, and the fact that he's working on this in and of itself is amazing, so maybe think about supporting him as well. But right off the top, the new update to the Saturn Core is definitely more stable in certain games, and it gets you further into some games that weren't working before, at least from what I've tested and communicated with other people. But the fact that Alien Trilogy is running at what seems like full speed with audio on Mister is absolutely spectacular, because if you don't know the architecture of the Saturn, it is a mess of silicon. The PlayStation 1 core is incredible. I'm not taking anything away from that, but if you were a developer and they asked you if you wanted to work on PlayStation 1 or Sega Saturn, 9 out of 10 would pick PlayStation because it's just easier to handle. But taking a look at Earthworm Jim 2 here, everything looks great. Everything that's here sounds great. You don't get the gun sound effects, but you do get the background music, so the audio is definitely still work in progress. But the controls, the visuals, everything on Earthworm Jim look like I would expect them to, and everything plays exactly the same, including how difficult it is to jump with those damn pigs. They did not make it easy when they developed the game, and that's a little bit unfortunate, but that's Earthworm Jim's fault and not the core. Because this is shaping up really nice. The things that are working are working well. Some things like FMV can be a little bit touchy, but here in the opening of Resident Evil, I'm able to see it and it's working as expected. And you can definitely get into game on this one. I'm sure a lot of people haven't played the Sega Saturn version of Resident Evil, but it is quite excellent. So when the full core is here, definitely give it a go. But seeing this running on Mr. FPGA is so cool. And I love doing these videos to get you guys hyped about what's coming up on Mr. Not just showing you what already exists. The same that I did with the PlayStation 1 preview series before that went public. Doing it for Saturn is even more fun because I grew up with a Saturn first, PlayStation second. I love the Sega Saturn and I think this is going to get a lot more people involved in the console that maybe haven't gotten much of a chance to check out the library. But you'll see here, at least in game, Resident Evil is functioning. It's running at full speed. The controls like have no lag in them whatsoever. However, everything is good. Some things are still work in progress, of course, though, and this is a beta preview of the core, the second one I'm doing. Something like the door here definitely has some graphical wiggliness, for lack of a better term. It functions, but this is how the sausage gets made. Nothing just gets released fully finished. There's always previews. And what I really want you guys to do is think about coming into the Discord and testing this on your misters and reporting what you have success with and what you have failures with. Because one thing I did report this morning when I was making this video is that this cutscene here twice hangs on me as soon as the zombie turns his head. That's something that probably can be worked on in the future, but it's nice to kind of use that community effort to show what is and what isn't functioning. And Duke Nukem, again, a pseudo 3D game, it works perfectly. It's so much fun to play. Everything is spectacular. It's so great. But interestingly, some games have full audio, some games have partial audio, and some games have no audio whatsoever. And it's probably just down to different audio modes in the Saturn architecture. But again, going back to Alien Trilogy, the most impressive experience I had when capturing footage for this video, it runs amazingly well. All of the controls are great, but most importantly, the audio is spectacular as well. So go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds, and I'll come back and talk more about the work in progress Sega Saturn Core for Mister. Enjoy.
The sound on Alien Trilogy sounds like 95% there. There's some clicks and pops, and you definitely want to play this core with your volume turned down a little bit, and the core seems to already have that done. I'm sure SRG320 knows the audio is not quite complete. And some things like Virtual Fighter 2, now you can at least select a character before it freezes on the first core. You couldn't even have inputs on the controller for that. But something that's running really well until it's not is Burning Rangers, and this is a game that barely feels like it functions on the original Sega Saturn. This game pushed the Saturn hardware to the absolute limit, so it's a really good test to see frame rates and how things are running on Saturn because this game was intense and it felt like something that was really just making the Saturn sweat and stress when it was trying to run it. And you'll see here, at least in the tutorial level, everything looks relatively good. There's a little bit of screen garbage on the right, but of course, again, this is just a beta, probably more of an alpha, but the controls are working, the frame rate looks good, that timer at the top left-hand corner is counting in real time, because when this game slows down, I have noticed that sometimes that timer likes to slow down as well, at least on original Saturn hardware. But transitioning to the next scene, this training space here, you do get control of the character and everything feels nice and fluid. There is no audio in here, but unfortunately, right when I get to the end of this hallway for the second time, you're going to see it just freezes. And that's something that's going to happen time to time. But the great part about trying these things out is just how much fun it is to see how everything gets made and how it's iterated on. Something like Die Hard Arcade, a game that I would expect to be a little bit worse than it actually is on Mister, works really well. And this is, you know, a complicated game. It's in full 3D with a 3D engine. Every once in a while, you're going to get some polygonal stretching issues that'll slow the core down. But that's the same thing that we saw on the PlayStation 1 core when it was in development. Some polygon stretching issues. So a lot of the code for 3D obviously isn't finished yet because you have VDP1 and VDP2 on Saturn. And I'm sure coding those onto an FPGA to work in tandem is quite a difficult task because developers, when they were working with Saturn back in the day, had difficulty coding for VDP1 and 2 at the same time, including the dual CPUs on original hardware with that SDK, but some things like the wireframe menu transitions work incredibly well. Some things just seem to be working on dual RAM setups. I'm showing you everything on a single RAM stick because I know 95 plus percent of you are using that. I do have a second RAM stick that I can install. But something like Street Fighter Alpha 2, I've been told by other users, gets in-game on a dual RAM setup. I tried it on a single RAM setup, and I was getting really close. I got this opening cutscene, which looks and plays great. But then when I actually hit start and it starts to load, you're going to see that that just hangs completely. So depending on what your setup is, single 128 megabyte RAM stick or dual, you're going to get different results. But I know that the intent is to try to get this running on a single RAM stick for everybody. But right now, if you have a dual RAM stick set up, there's a different core that you want to download and you're going to get those both pinned on the Saturn channel on the official Mr. Discord and I will leave a link below if I forget. Leave me a comment and tell me about it because sometimes I say that and I do forget. Something Saturn can't improve, like this granny chair level here, it drove me nuts back in the day and it still drives me nuts now. Now normally the recommendation would be to mash start through FMV cutscenes because they like to hang the core sometimes. But on the original bug, you can't actually use any controller inputs until the game gets started, but it doesn't hang on this cutscene, so it's really interesting, and maybe I'll look more into that talking with people to see why it does it. But you will see that FMVs, for the most part, are working 100%. I mean, they don't look great, but that's because in the 90s, this is just what we got. If you didn't grow up with Saturn, this is what things looked like. But something that you're going to need to remember if you are testing this core is that resetting it is going to be your friend. Sometimes you load up a disk image, a Q file, and it just won't read. If you go ahead and reset the core, you're going to see that suddenly it's going to get into the game. Now I do use two clips there. This isn't Resident Evil, it's bug. But if you have issues, first reset. If that won't work, do a cold reboot of your mister. That seems to solve some problems for me outside of missing that jump. But the fact alone that Alien Trilogy is running exactly as I would expect it to on an original Saturn, and this is a great game, is spectacular. Work on Saturn is still continuing. SRG320 has the time and the safety where he lives to be able to do it, so that is awesome as well to know he's still all right and out there. But Sega Saturn's still getting worked on, and it'll be on Mr. eventually. Again, no time frame. Don't bother the maker. He's got a lot of stuff going on. He'll get done when he gets done. But that is the Sega Saturn FPGA Core Preview 2, and if there's an update to the core, I'll definitely run a Preview 3 because I know you guys have commented saying you really enjoy the Preview series. 
but I can't wait for Sega Saturn to be finished on the Mister. And that's coming from somebody who owns a bunch of original hardware and a massive ton of games for it. I can't wait to play this on Mister FPGA. Hey, like and subscribe. Check out SRG320's Patreon, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.